I'm a scholar and human rights lawyer from China. Because of my human rights work, I was targeted by the government, kidnapped, detained, and tortured. At this very moment, many of my friends are in jail and mistreated. Gao Zhisheng, Xu Zhiyong, Ding Jiaxing, Ilam Toti, Geng Xiaonan, the list goes on. Chen Tiushi, Fang Bin, and Zhang Zhan are still in custody for reporting on the pandemic. In Xinjiang, more than a million Turkic people are held in concentration camps, subject to torture and sterilization by a government intent on destroying their ethno-religious identity. My Uyghur friends tell me that every Uyghur they know has at least one family member who has been in the camps. The Chinese government is also brutally repressing Mongolian and Tibetan cultures. It is clear that human rights commitments made by the Chinese government are not reality. Systematic rights violations exist normalized or even exported, such as the disappearance of foreign nationals. When such a government was re-elected to the Council, it risks corroding the Council's role of defending human rights. I urge governments to confront together China for its threat to human rights internationally. Madam Batchelier, I urge you to stand in solidarity with independent Chinese NGOs and activists to elevate the voice of victims in Xinjiang, Hong Kong, Tibet, and elsewhere, and to end impunity, including through an independent investigation into the mass detentions in Xinjiang. Thank you.